What's it look like? It looks like lava. Keep for it, quick. Oh. This is the same thing I did. Whoa. That is cool. We're gonna make iron out of the dirt. We were gold mining, right? We dug gravel off of a gravel bar. We processed it through a sluice. Out of the sluice, we got a concentrate. And then how did you get this out of there? Using a magnet. Using the magnet. We've already cleaned up the gold. We smelted it. I've stored it away. <laughs> <laughs> but there's another really co cool component of the concentrate, and that is the black sands, which are, turns out, a mineral. Which mineral? Fe three hundred four, which we call magnetite. 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 And it's a. It, this is iron ore. This is what. This is how the Iron Age started. Was with iron ore. And all we got to do is figure out how to actually turn iron ore into some useful iron part. Okay. What are we doing? So we're gonna mix the iron or the black sand or magnetite. Yeah. We're gonna mix it together with um, aluminum powder. Yeah. And then we're gonna, it's gonna, we're gonna add heat and the oxygen from the iron is gonna move over from the ox iron to the aluminum yeah. and leave the iron by itself. Right. Purify the iron. So we're gonna end up with pure iron and, and aluminum oxide. And aluminum oxide. So we're gonna add some heat to get it started. But what's the other cool thing? The cool thing is that the the attraction between oxygen and aluminum is stronger than the bond or the bond between iron and oxygen. Right. And so what's going to happen? It's going to we're going to the oxygen is going to leave the iron and the iron because it gets so hot when the iron the oxygen leaves the iron's going to melt. It's actually going to be melted for us. So not only isolated as pure iron but already melted which means we can probably form it into something if we're careful. Because <laughs> this thing is going to get hot like the sun, right? In order to do the reaction properly, we need the right amount of ingredients. So we have a balanced chemical equation right down here. So you've balanced it mm -hmm. and you've calculated how many grams of iron oxide per mole. Okay, let's actually start. Let's measure that out, and then we can measure out the aluminum, and then yeah. we can don some safety equipment and mix it together. <laughs> so we're gonna need 231 grams of magnetite. Two, 25. 25. A little bit more. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, perfect. 231. All right, there's 231 grams. One mole. One mole of magnetite. Okay, what's next? Now we need aluminum. 72.4 grams. Now here's a question. What if we had extra? Extra aluminum. It wouldn't be a problem. No, why not? Because because as long as is all the oxygen in an aluminum there right, so right. bonds to this, right. then we're fine. If we had to, not enough of this, that would be a problem. Because what then, would happen? Because then not all, so the, not all the oxygen, oxygen would still be on the. So side. should we err on the high side? Maybe we should add a little more. On having more that rather than less, right? More. more. So maybe okay. we should add a bit more. There, that's fine. Seventy-five. Seventy-five. Okay. Now, have you guys considered some of the safety concerns? It's gonna. It's gonna be really, really hot. Really, really hot. Okay. So what are we gonna use to make sure? Whoever lights it should use gloves and safety glasses, and we should yep. stand a long ways back. Yeah. it real good. Now why isn't this reacting already? We need heat to break the bond between the oxygen and the iron. Yeah, that's right. So the overall it should release heat, but it actually needs an needs input of heat first. To get started. Yeah. That's right. So just don't stir it really hard. <laughs> don't stir it really, really fast. Yeah. <laughs> what would happen if we lit it right here? The glass would break. And then what would happen? And the table would burn. And then what would happen? And then it would fall through the table and hit the floor. And, and all the paint the would burn off the floor. And it would crack the con concrete. Because this is generating a tremendous amount of heat. 
All right, we need something that can withstand a tremendous amount of heat. We're gonna use a crucible that's meant for smelting gold. And it can withstand a lot of heat. Before that, let's get some safety gear. And also, once it's molten, we're not gonna have time to prepare a mold. We need to prepare a mold now. You make your mold. Okay, we're gonna split this in thirds so that you can each pour your own thermite. Now, how much iron were we expecting to get from this? How many moles of iron? Three moles. Three moles. And how much? So 55.8 times three. Three. Yeah. So there's 165-ish. 166? Yeah. 167? Yeah. 167 grams. But then we divided this by three because you each are getting right, your own right. third. So, so a third is back down to okay. 55. Yeah. <gasps> so I can see there's a bunch of sand stuck to it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. There you go. We made iron from the dirt. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That is so cool. No way. <gasps> oh, oh my goodness, guys. That's exactly. It's 103 exactly. Uh, no, no, that, no, no, no. So, or 102. That's Yeah, we incredible. had 102. So maybe the one gram now, is from the sparkler? That is, that is perfect. Except it's we're we're kind of fluking out a little bit. Yeah. Because we added a sparkler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we can weigh a sparkler, but it's just a couple grams. And we there might be bits of sand in here mm -hmm. on the iron, right? Mm -hmm. um, and we might have lost some because remember it sparked and there's still maybe bits left behind. So we kind of like maybe lost a few grams and gained a few grams, but mm -hmm. it ended up balancing out and we literally have exactly the same amount of mass here. Which is pretty cool. That's, That's phenomenal. Pretty neat. Wow. Okay, <laughs> you guys get to actually watch the reaction. <laughs> yeah. What's it look like? It looks like lava. Keep pour it quick. Oh. Oh, oh, the whole thing comes out. No way. <laughs> you made a soup ladle. Yeah. <laughs> Julia. <laughs> so cool. Look at the sand. Oh, sand All the sand just, yeah, just pops right off. It's like a little pool of lava. That is it so says cool. low. Okay, let's go weigh all these and see if matter is indeed conserved. The iron ball? Okay, well, let's it's weigh it all now. It's still quite hot. It might melt the wood. 90, one, 90. But oh. the, that's not the, there's still sand in the. Oh yeah, look at that iron ball right there. Oh yeah, right. You see that guy? Yeah. So we definitely know there's iron stuck in the aluminum. So what happened? No, this is great doing it three times because if we did hers first, it like appeared perfect. Mm -hmm. It was kind of fluky that it was perfect because mm -hmm. as we've seen, the other ones are different. And there's a great reason why things are missing. It's because stuff is splattering. There's stuff left over in the sand. What do you girls think? Successful? Turned out, turned out pretty well. Yes. I think pretty successful. They do look a little homely right now. <laughs> so I'm going to clean these up for you. What you need to do is finish up your lab report and come to some conclusions. Calculate uh, the, the reaction yield and compare it to our expected mm -hmm. and come up with, uh, you know, and state your final conclusion. Okay, ladies, first of all, I polished up your iron. Can I see? Do you want to see them? Yeah. Yes. <gasps> <gasps> you put holes in oh them. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Look at those things. Wow. That is so cool. Like where you drilled the hole or yeah. whatever? It's like, it's, it's actually like, like, like real iron. Real yeah. Iron. We can use them as keychains. 
Is this one yours, Galen? That's mine. Oh, this, this is, is mine. Yeah. All right, now I put some holes in them. So all I did was kind of sanded them up, and I obviously drilled some holes. And there's two reasons. One is we're about to do something very cool, and it needs we need a hole in there. Mm -hmm. But the hole serves another purpose, and that is uh, later on maybe you could put a ring on there, maybe you could put a key to a Ferrari on it. Or, or if you're really lucky, a Jeep. Now, the problem with iron is, if we get this wet and then leave it in the air. It'll it's rust. gonna rust immediately. How fast will it rust? Really fast. Very fast. It'll actually rust noticeably within seconds. You'll start to get a tiny tinge of orange on there. Which is the iron doing what? Oxidizing. And turning into? Iron. What's that? Fe two O three. Yeah, it actually will turn into Fe two O three, which is the rust. So we started with magnetite Fe three O four. Anyways, we don't want it to go back to magnetite. We put a lot of effort into making yeah. it iron. Yeah. <laughs> and and so we need to we need to do something to preserve it to make it not rust. And lucky for us, there are metals out there that don't. And. There is a really cool chemical process for actually coating, putting a super thin coating of those metals on this metal. So with a battery and with a, a little mason jar with some nickel acetate. But we're gonna use that and we are gonna nickel plate this. Okay, now first we need to understand the process. So in your lab book, Okay. Write down electroplating, and let's start with a diagram of, of the equipment we're gonna use. Oh. Here's our reaction vessel. It has two electrodes. These are just pieces of copper wire. But on the end, the electrodes in this case are chunks of nickel. Okay, this is not a super fancy chemical. You can make this with nickel and vinegar. Remember, what kind of, what kind of bond is nickel acetate? Ionic. Ionic because... It's a metal and a non-metal. That's right. And when we put an ionic bonded material into and dissolve it into a water, it will allow a current to pass through. Oh. Because it dissolves it into metal. ions. So draw a few little nickels in there, little, <laughs> N, little NIs. And then you can draw some acetates in there. If we apply a voltage on here, one of these will end up with a pile of electrons and the other one will end up with like a total proton loss of a total lack of electrons so the nickels is going to go the positive nickels is going to go to the negative terminal whatever you want to call mm -hmm. it that's right so i'm just rinsing it really nice yep. in the distilled nice water okay. now here's what we have we have two electrodes but mm -hmm. one of them is our part. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if we hook the positive up to this chunk of nickel. And the negative up to this one. And the negative up to this watch, one. Watch it. What happens? It's bubbling away down there. Mm -hmm. In this solution, what's happening is the current is flowing, like on this side, is very negative, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And electrons are flowing over this way. And it's pulling off little nickels, which go into solution and become nickel positives. But also there's acetate in here, which is being attracted to the positive terminal. But there's also water in here. And water in here is actually gonna disassociate into hydrogen and oxygen. So there's a whole bunch of little things that are happening. Yeah. Okay, should we is it done? put this one aside? I think so. Yeah. I hope it is. Now these these bits in here, these rough Whoa. bits, yeah. like that's not gonna get properly coated, mm -hmm. right? But that's okay. We're not we're not building a spaceship yet. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's kinda I think that's kinda complete. I think it looks beautiful. Me too. Four days ago, this was just in the dirt. Yeah and we purified the black sand into iron. We melted it, poured it, and now electroplated it. Okay, okay so this is the big, uh, this is the big tell. Did we actually add any nickel to it? 
32.076 is where it lands on initially. Okay, so how much did we add? 13 milligrams. That's right. Really? 13 milligrams yes, right. of nickel. Yeah. That is cool. Well, what do you think, girls? You're all done. We're all done. All done? You made iron from the dirt. You made gold. We found, we found gold. gold. The gold nugget. Okay, girls. You're done. We're yeah. done? You did it. Gold Rush 12. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> that was. Oh, we do it again. There we go. Awesome. Good job, girls.